Okay, this week I want to actually make a custom grill for this bottom. That way I can match my versus speed to a lower section here. In order to get this started, I'm taking one inch painter's tape, which is really good for scratch resistance. I've lined the whole area all the way around the lip because this is where I want it to fit. Now my support bars for my splitter, I've actually taken those off and just set them aside so they won't be in the way. Now I've been looking around for a, a grill material that I was, I guess I was happy with that I thought would match this. I finally found a three foot by eight foot sheet of aluminum mesh at Home Depot and it was ten dollars and I'm going to use a small corner of it so this is a pretty good investment for ten bucks you, you know make a few of these if you wanted to. To start with I'm going to measure this width which is going to be 39 inches and I'm going to cut it to seven inch tall here so I'll have a rectangle of piece and then I'm going to start fitting it to the grill. Okay, so now I've, I'm going to use a set of tin snips. These are straight versus a left or a right hand cut. These are straight. I'm going to cut up 7. I'm going to cut over 39. So I can just use a tape measure very easily to help me find 7 up here, not the beverage. Now I'm just going to make small cuts the whole way. And you should remember you want to stay oversized on all these cuts to start with it's a lot easier to go smaller than it is to go larger so you'll need to start over so I'm just going to cut all these as I go once I cut 39 inches across 7 down I'll have a nice square piece and I can start fitting it to the grill That's 39 inches across, this way, 7 down. Now let's take this one piece and start fitting it to the car. Okay, now I've got my 39 by 7 piece. If I line it up on this upper left corner here, you'll notice it's just slightly oversized all the way around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up here, I'm going to actually start cutting at this bottom left hand corner. I'll cut a radius around. I'm going to start cutting up piece by piece, snip by snip, all the way around the edge. Once I get to this corner, I'll do the same. Fit it along the top, around the upper right, lower right. And this bottom edge along this, the uh, bottom of the cut here is what I'm going to use kind of as my uh, surface that I'm going to use as a reference. So I can always fit it to here and then everything else should fit in reference to this. Okay, let me show you a little trick I've been doing here. The original cuts look kind of jagged like this with the tips bent up. They're not very uniform and they're really pokey on your fingers. So I'm using mechanics gloves which I would recommend at minimum because these, these metal after you cut them are very sharp. They're going to cut you, they're going to scratch your paint, etc. So I would at least recommend mechanics gloves or maybe even some leather gloves. I've taken some needle nose pliers and on the bottom edge where it's going to be very visible from standing from the car if you notice the difference on these I've actually bent these kind of straight across it's going to give me a kind of a nice shelf that's going to allow this to sit on the bottom edge of the grill and on the fascia that way it's going to be a lot easier for me to hold it in place versus this top where it's very pokey it's going to scratch everything so that's one little tip now that I've got the bottom edge ready I'm going to start on the bottom left hand corner and get it going. Okay, that's the last bit. I started in that corner using this bottom edge as kind of my starting point. Snipped there, snipped up the side, all the way across the top, and fit each corner. Now I have used a small set of needle nose pliers, and as I've cut through here, I've actually made these, try to make them as flat as possible just by bending the cut. That way it'll help from keeping the uh, grill to scratch the fascia and that way it will make it a lot cleaner look like it's supposed to fit in there. Now for me, because I have this carbon fiber splitter, the support rods need to go inside of here. So I'm going to mark in here, use the same tin snips, and I'm going to cut two holes so that these can fit through there. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to paint it flat black to match the Versus Speed Grill and then I'll get it all fit together. Just a note on here, the aluminum this stuff will puncture tires, so 
So every piece you cut off here, I've got the red bucket, and that's where it's kind of my trash. So as I've gone along, anything I've taken off, I've put in there. That way I don't stick my fingers, and I don't stick, you know, if you're walking barefoot, or anything else, or a tire, you won't puncture. So just keep that in mind as you're doing it. These things do get really sharp. Let me finish this up. We'll see how it looks. Okay, I've got my grill painted. And I put everything back together. This thing fits very well in this opening. Remember, I cut it large and I cut it to fit. That way it fit all the way around. I've taken my blue painter's tape off and I've put my support rods back on. The mesh on the Versa Speed Grill is a little bit thicker than this grill is, but I think it complements it very well. Uh, this probably has taken me about an hour to do. It's, it's a lot of fine detail, a lot of fine cutting, but I think it's given a real good tie-in with the grill upper and lower. That's all for this week. Visit us on the forums. NissanVersa.org